two planes are parallel if their normal vectors are parallel. Let's say we have these two planes, here's plane 1, with the normal vector given by n1. And let's say we have another plane that's parallel to plane 1. Its normal vector will also be parallel to plane 1. And we can have a third plane parallel to the first two. And in this pl plane, I'll just go ahead and signify that the normal vector is going straight down, or not straight down, but on the opposite side of the plane as the previous two. I'm indicating that because two planes are parallel if their normal vectors are in the same direction, and for planes in one and in two, we would say that they are anti-parallel because their normal vectors are in opposite directions. But that's really an uh, I don't want to say it's an arbitrary description. It's just based off of how we defined the normal vector for plane 3. Based off of this normal vector for plane 3, plane 1 and plane 3 are anti-parallel, which what that just means is the normal vectors lie on the same line but in opposite directions. Normal vector for plane 1 goes in that direction. Normal vector for plane 2 goes in the opposite, or plane 3 rather, goes in the opposite direction. Those two planes, or those three planes, will never intersect because the angle between the normal vectors are either 0 or 180 80 degrees. The planes won't intersect. Now, two planes will intersect if their normal vectors are not along the same line. So, for example, let's say we have two intersecting planes represented here. Plane 1, and here let's just do this so we could see the back of that plane. Plane 1 has a normal vector that goes off in that direction. And plane 2 has a normal vector that's vertical. These two planes have a line of intersection because the normal vectors are neither parallel nor anti-parallel. In other words, they don't lie along the same line. Well, two planes that are perpendicular. Oh, one, one other thing. Notice there is a line of intersection between these two planes. So for two non-parallel planes, there will be a line of intersection that can be described. Now that's different. Remember in, when we were just dealing with two dimensions and we had a line passing through a plane, and I guess this doesn't have to be two dimensions, but planes themselves have basically two dimensions in and of themselves, a length and a width, if you want to call those dimensions. Well, a line passing through that plane has an intersection at a single point, while two planes, since they are, have normal vectors that are not on the same line, instead of there being a point of intersection, there is a line of intersection. Two planes that are perpendicular to each other two planes that are perpendicular to each other will also have a line of intersection. Now we've learned about vectors when they are parallel and vectors when they are perpendicular. Can you remember two mathematical operations that we can do to find the angle between planes? Or, or better yet, 
is there a mathematical expression that would allow us to determine whether two planes are parallel? Is there a mathematical expression that would allow us to determine where two planes are perpendicular? The answer is yes. Let's look at the case when two planes are perpendicular. Let's take one plane in one, and, and that's the normal vector describing plane in one. Plane in one might be the plane that looks something like this. And let's take another plane that is perpendicular to plane in one. So this plane, I will just draw it here. And this plane is perpendicular to N1. Its normal vector, it has a normal vector looking like that. These two planes are perpendicular if their normal vectors are perpendicular. And remember, the cross product We learned about a mathematical operation that can help us determine whether or not two vectors are perpendicular. And that operation is the dot product between the two vectors. If two planes are perpendicular, then their dot product must be equal to zero because the dot product can be given as the magnitude of the um, first normal vector times the magnitude of the second normal vector times the cosine of the angle between those two. And when the angle is pi over two, so if theta is pi over two or three pi over two, then those planes are perpendicular and we could say that the cosine of pi over two or the, or the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, two planes are orthogonal, perpendicular to each other, if their dot product, product is equal to 0. What about two planes that are parallel to each other? This is the normal vector for plane 1. This is a normal vector for plane two. Well, earlier we learned that two vectors that are parallel, their cross product will be equal to zero. So let's look at this. Let's look at the magnitude of the cross product between the normal vectors of these two planes. We have learned that the magnitude of the cross product between two vectors is equal to the product of the magnitudes of those vectors times the sine of the angle between them, where the angle is some angle between 0 and pi. Well, if our angle is equal to 0 degrees, or if it's equal to 180 degrees, which is pi, then the sine of 0 and the sine of pi is equal to zero. Those two vectors are parallel if that angle is zero or 180 degrees. So what that means is two vectors are, or two planes are parallel if the magnitude of their cross product is equal to zero. And what that means is if you evaluate the cross product between two planes, and if the result is equal to zero, then you know those two planes are parallel to each other.